have you ever wondered how many marriages take place on this planet every year? There are approximately 42 million marriages that take place on this planet every year. Isn't that phenomenal? There's approximately 115 marriages every day. So that begs the question, how many marriages take place in Trinidad and Tobago every year? So I did some research with CSO. There are 8,000 marriages that take place in Trinidad and Tobago every year. So one could assume there are 16,000 proud parents. But what I know for a fact tonight, we have two sets of proud parents. Mr. and Mrs. Faisal Khan, give it up for them. Parents of the bride, the lovely bride. And of course, yours truly, and my dear wife. Now everyone knows when I was younger, I spent a lot of time by my grandparents and by extension, my uncles, Kevin and Ian. Guys, thank you for spending so much time with me when I was younger, for making fun of me, for making me genuinely believe that I was adopted. <laughs> Ian and Kevin convinced me when I was younger that I was brought in from Grenada <laughs> on a banana boat. They told me that I painted myself green to blend in with the figs being sent to Trinidad. But by the time the boat arrived at Trinidad, the figs ripened and turned yellow. And there I was, alone, naked, and green. And my parents, who apparently go to the docks to buy fresh fig, right, saw me and felt sorry for me and took me home. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a true story. Not that I'm a Grenadian, but I believed I was a Grenadian for at least a week. <laughs> Our eldest brother, Keegan, has always been adamant to find his true purpose in life. We've always admired his relentless determination and headstrong mindset to reach the top and to gain as much knowledge as possible along the way. Keegan is a fearless and focused individual hungry for being the very best, and nothing less than that would suffice. That is how I am sure that Falia is a rare and fine woman. Hats off to the amazing bride. <laughs> she compliments my brother wonderfully, and anyone can see that together, they make quite the team. I remember the first day King told us about Falia. He came into our rooms and said, guys, let's go for a drive for food. I want to talk to you all about something. And before we even drove out the driveway, he said, I met a girl I really, really like. She's really pretty and really smart, and we're both in the same field. It's perfect. And those who really know Keegan knows he would never use the word perfect lightly. You tell him about something, and he'll need to go home and research all there is about the topic, and come back, and come back three to five working days later with his opinions on it, backed up by evidence, but not Falia. He knew instantly that what they would have is perfect, and he was right. So let me take you back uh, to where this love story began, in a little town called Freeport. <laughs> the year was 2015, December 2015 to be exact, where Fallon and I met at a mutual friend's Christmas party. It, it was at Randall's Christmas party. Um, it was a full moon that night. And somehow, the moonlight just seemed to shine just on Falia. It, it was strange. I mean, I could see nobody else but Falia that night. And you know, like, I, I know you all feel that I'm making this up, right? But after that night, there was no turning back. As people say, I was just gone clear. Falia, you are the love of my life. And still, even here, right now, I can't believe I pulled this off. <laughs> and I'm sure neither of you do either. <laughs> right now I feel like I succeeded in life somehow, but that doesn't mean I intend to be complacent. I intend to love you and make you feel loved every day. Falia, you are brilliant, hardworking and determined, but you're also caring 
kind and very clumsy. I'm so glad that you fell in love with me and you proved that miracles do come true. Five years on and you've grown more beautiful with each passing day from when I first met you. You are my soulmate and my best friend and I am so proud and honored to call you my wife and I am looking forward to us spending the rest of our lives together. So Keegan and Falio, we share in your joy today. I know a lot of planning went into it. And in spite of, uh, what I should say, despite the current world situation, at least it'd be a memorable one, right? You can tell your children if you know what was going on on our wedding day. <laughs> I, Keegan, take you, Falia, to be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you all the days of my life. Today I saw Falia's father give his daughter to Keegan with the kind of reverence with which one passes a delicate family heirloom from one to another. I saw Keegan's father smile, yeah, clap for that. I saw Keegan's father smile like he was reliving all the times he wondered if he'd ever get Keegan out of the house. <laughs> In a triumphant, finally. But truthfully, Keegan is one of the most noble and humble human beings I know. So I want to officially welcome my new son-in-law. My new son-in-law. Keegan, every day you make Falia so happy and I'm so grateful two of you have found each other. You're both in good hands and I'll always be on your team as you make your way through life. So I want to wish the happy couple all the love and joy in the world as we celebrate their wedding this evening. Cheers to Falia and Keegan. Cheers to the happy couple. Cheers, cheers. May their marriage last 100 years. Welcome to the family. Congratulations. To Keegan and Folio, we wish for you a beautiful life together, filled with happiness and love. Cheers. Keegan, Folio, I wish you both all the best in your new life together and a wonderful marriage, full of love, happiness, and adventure. And most of all, I hope that you both never forget the love you feel and share with one another today. Now let's raise a toast to the bride and groom. We wish you both continued happiness and all of the love and abundance in your marriage. Let's raise our glasses to Mr. and Mrs. Blue. Keegan, one more thing before we raise our glass. And for those of you who know Keegan's favorite song, feel free to join me. The love of a family is first brought together by blood. You meet your co-workers through your job. If you're lucky, they become friends. And friends are the family that you choose. Everyone, please raise your glasses for a toast to friends, family, and co-workers. Yes. Mr. and Mrs. Khan, Thank you for raising your daughter to be ambitious and hardworking, but also teaching her to be kind, gentle, and loving. I feel very lucky to marry such a beautiful woman and can assure you that I will always love her, honor her, and protect her. 
Mom, Dad, I would like to thank you for raising such an amazing son. <laughs> Keegan is a really great man and quite a catch. Thank you for bringing me up in a home full of love and encouragement. And I don't feel like I see it enough, but I love you. And you are everything that I hope to be when I finally grow up. We both definitely come a long way together and we had some challenging times, but I feel we taught each other so much along the way. No relationship is easy and there will always be challenges ahead. But honestly, I can say with confidence, as long as we face them together, we can do anything. Ladies and gentlemen, please raise a toast, one final toast to my bride and my father.